Welcome to Nets and Foil. And welcome to another dock review today from Lake Thun from Hildefingen. And it is a difficult dock. It might be the longest dock, but it's a difficult one. You have the parking in the back and it's always full if the weather is nice. That's the raft of the swimming area. You can only use that in winter and here's the perfect dock, but it's private. But more on that later. And this black line is super important because that's where the big boats pass through. So if you're into wave thieving, you're not far away from great waves. In summer, there are five boats coming each day and in winter, it's just one. The guy that you just saw wave thieving was Nick. Nick worked at the sailing school and he pumped foils for a couple of months now. He's getting better all the time, but he had one close encounter with a swimmer. And at the end of the video, you're going to hear his story. All right, you can see here that you can submerge your board and your wing so you can keep it closer. So that's good. If you look over there, that's not possible, but it is wood. So if you touch with your wing, that's no problem. The height of the dock, of course, depends on the sea level. Here I have a 75 centimeter mast and it doesn't touch the water. So I guess it's about 85 to 90 centimeters high, but that's no problem. Just go for a drop start. I mean, it's no problem. Just drop start. Come on, just drop start. Just a drop start. Ah, there you go. So you just drop start. That's no problem. All right, let me show you the full length of the dock. On the whole dock, you have to be careful. There are a lot of swimmers. At the end of the dock, of course, there are the boats that are leaving the port. So always be aware of boats entering and exiting the port. Now you may have noticed that I wasn't starting from the dock that I told you about. So let's get into the private dock. So here I went through the sailing school, going down the stairs towards the dock itself. And as you can see, Nick was already there rigging his gear. All right, so this is the dock that you built, right? Yeah, yeah. Tell me about it. Yeah, for me, it's perfect. Uh, I, I, I thought that like, uh, it would be great to have like two heights in the end. But uh, at the end, I found that like having this step here and I'm, uh, well, what is it called when you have regular, left, uh, regular, regular foot? Yeah. yeah. I really like it to jump with the left and bring that one uh, to the front. So Nick works there at the sailing school part time and he's a really cool guy. But he's not the owner. The owner, Simu, really cool guy as well, but he said that he wasn't super happy that I was going to review the dock and uh, he cannot have plenty of pump foilers on his dock, blocking the way of the people that are using the sailing school. Now, if it's winter, you can use the private dock because no one's going to be there. So I guess that's fine. Now here in the back, you can see the raft of the swimming area. Please, if there are people swimming or even the restaurant is open, don't go to the raft. I used it in April when I started pump foiling and you can do the running start, but it moves a lot, but it's still better than risking the drop start, I think. So I really think the place is beautiful. It is really nice, but the dock itself is not for beginners, I'd say. If you are in winter, you go on the raft, then it's fine. But the big long dock is really not for beginners. So. If you're intermediate or even a advanced foiler, then it's great because you have this super long dock, you have a lot of people who pump for there, and you have the boats that pass pretty regularly and you can try to catch the waves. There are many people, especially in summer, so you really have to take care. Um, you have to look for swimmers. And Nick actually had one close encounter. Let's listen to his story. So he had one close encounter. Tell me yeah. about it. Um, a couple of weeks ago it was quite crowded here in the in the area and uh, I was starting then I I went to go outside right and I was close to the to the buoy and then uh, I looked to the to the top there and I saw like uh, little air bubbles coming up and I thought ah yeah okay someone might have jumped in and then I looked down and <laughs> it was Quite close, I would say. And but nothing someone, happened? No, luckily not. But, uh, Did they see you afterwards? No, I don't think so. No, but he just uh, dived from there to like almost 20 meters or so. So and here? That was, uh, yeah. Here, <laughs> you shouldn't, thing. You yeah. shouldn't swim here, right? That's yeah, basically you're not allowed to swim here, only in the swimming area, but uh, 
Yeah, I mean, most of the time it's not an issue or so, but uh, you just yeah, never know. Just, just be careful. All right, good, <laughs> good. We'll, we'll do that. Important to know here at this dog. Yeah, yeah. Good. <laughs>